You came into this physical body with a clear and concrete understanding that there is no lack in this world. There is an endless flow of abundance and prosperity that is always waiting for you. All you have to do is ask and it will be yours. However, we find ourselves so dazed in our physical third dimensional reality that we forget how to even access these resources and energetic components that exist within us. Everything that is in our physical reality is there for us to remember. It is there for us to receive as a mirror feedback. And we should always be asking ourselves, what is this trying to teach me? What is this trying to tell me? If there is something inherently so-called wrong, what is the reason for this in my life? If there is goodness, you need to remind yourself, what am I doing right that is bringing this energetic and vibrational flow into my vortex? Today I want to share my journey with depression and how it activated my spiritual awakening. By the end of this video, you will have enough tools and mechanisms and newfound knowledge to comprehend and to infiltrate in your own present day existence so that the low vibrational frequency of depression will not steer unwanted experiences and people into your existence. I'm Janard Martin, and if you don't know that by now, you probably will. So in 2021, I was diagnosed with MDD, major depressive disorder. I had suicidal ideations that I cannot even fathom right now in the current vibrational state that I am at. Obviously, I'm, a I'm in a completely or on a completely different timeline than I was at that point. And during such time, I, I didn't necessarily attempt any sort of suicide whatsoever, but I was just really vibrationally low, always looking for an escape from my present day reality and existence, which you all know by now that on my channel, I specifically teach that the present moment is the place that you should never escape from. During that time, I was going for conventional therapy, just talking to another human being face to face. And I realized shortly after that, that other human beings are simply just as biased as I am. They have their own convictions and they have their own confirmation biases in everything that they subtly program into you. So, Shortly after that, I stopped going for therapy. I was looking desperately for an alternative to cure me. And I discovered ashwagandha, which simply sort of regulated my emotional dysregulation. And I still take ashwagandha to this day. And I recommend that anybody literally takes that for the sake of their gut health and also for their mental health. It's more so a mental health um, I don't want to call it a sedative because it's really, it's really natural. It's far better than taking antidepressants. Antidepressants strips you of the field in your electromagnetic frequency. I was never, never in alignment with taking that. And I never did in my entire life. I knew that it made you feel very flat and your addiction to it just creates the cycle of continuation that permeates your reality that and it goes on and on and on and on and on. So basically about a year ago, I discovered something called SEIO healing, which is scientific consciousness interface operation, which essentially is reading your electromagnetic field, which carries emotions. And um, this sort of brings up various graphs and programs that can realign viruses it can realign deficiencies and it can help your body heal itself now the woman that does my seio healing has attested to curing infertility pcos all these numerous ailments that people suffer with daily and i truly recommend this it is utterly and utterly life-changing i cannot emphasize this enough 
Now, after I started going for a couple of sessions, my electromagnetic frequency started improving. That's when I discovered listening to affirmations and self agio frequencies before I sleep and when I wake up to sort of recalibrate my energy field. This is a very important tool that I feel is not emphasized enough. It is not emphasized enough. And I want everybody to use it as a tool to sort of recalibrate their reality and allow themselves to experience the things that they truly desire and hope for in this world. Um, because that's what we came on earth to experience. We're purely just consciousness in a human vessel. And I can speak for myself and say that, you know, I really didn't want to incarnate as a human being. I was previously a star seed that incarnated numerous on numerous occasions on this planet and i know this through past life regression and just the inner the inner sensations and messages that i get from my higher self and my spirit guides i feel like living on earth can be really really tedious for a star seed for someone who's very energetically aligned and falling into depression is really likely for anyone who is very spiritually inclined in essence, we are all very spiritual, but your level of awareness is what changes the perspective of your reality. Now, I say this purely from a good heart that I am sharing this to let you know that you are not alone if you face any of these issues. You are not alone. It's not anything new. Um, it's something that can be cured. And now you know that if I'm a living testimony of it, so can you be. I know that this human experience can be difficult and tedious at times. It can be redundant. It can be a series of unfortunate events. But once you transcend and change your vibration and your point of attraction, everything in your life changes with it. The question that we all have for ourselves is, how do we awaken our extraordinary potential in everyday life? Scientific thinking and human experience coexist simultaneously, especially through the studies of epigenetics, molecular biology, neurocardiology, and quantum physics. Overcoming depression essentially means that you have redefined what it means to be fully enabled and fully capacitated whilst being a human being. Depression to me means choosing to be captive and held captive by your own limiting beliefs. Fractions of this information I've learned many moons ago from studying the book called Becoming Supernatural by Joe Dispenza. And as much as I may not have been the same person who I was when I initially made first contact with the book, reading it once again has reinforced how far I've progressed and matured vibrationally and how in sync I am with the timeline of abundance now more than ever. Through numerous synchronicities in my life, I now have a cohesive and comprehensive solution to a problem that I could never previously solve. The information I share is very much outside of conventional and accepted norms. And perhaps it's not understood by most of the world. And that's perfectly okay. My purpose and mission is to share as much of my own personal journey as possible to encompass and redirect as many people into the light. My own personal teachings and practices have evolved and allowed me to delve deeper into my own existence and the mystical aspects of every single part of me. We are not linear beings on a linear timeline, but rather we are multidimensional beings living multidimensional lives. Naturally, I have the ability to divide audiences based on their own realms of reality and their own personal beliefs. So what I'm about to share is far more important because it is really what we all have in common. It's really simple. All you have to do is maintain elevated emotions such as 
inspiration, gratitude, joy, kindness, compassion, and appreciation, which cohesively rebalances the rhythm of your heart, which essentially governs your electromagnetic frequency. A magnetic field is an energy and that energy is a frequency and all frequency carries information just like your aura. So when I emphasize that your thoughts create your reality, what I really mean is that once you change the feeling or thought inside of you, it is reflected back consciously and continuously. I mention often that everybody emits a field of light energy. It surrounds your body and almost everything on this planet. So for example, when you are living in survival mode, such as a low vibrational state of depression, you burden yourself on a cellular level because the hormones of stress draw from the field of energy that you already have and turns it chemically into shrinkage, into drainage, and diminishes your light field or your electromagnetic frequency. This includes your nervous system, your gene expression, your neurotransmitters, your hormones, proteins, enzymes, and cells. What I teach on my channel is that you have to believe as if you've already received something. Believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Key discovery that I have made includes a simple analogy that is when you cease to think about something, it disintegrates from your reality completely. When you refuse to invest your attention in certain events and circumstances, they lose the impact on your vibrational frequency. Thoughts are empty without your strong convictions. In other words, your emotions. Thoughts direct the flow of your energy and thus determines the universe's response towards you. It is paramount to understand the language of energy because the universe reads your vibrational reactions through amplifying or withholding. And hopefully after digesting this, your selective engagement to things in your third dimensional reality will allow you to amplify your vibrational reaction in a positive way. The only level of recognition that the forces unseen understand and comprehend is the present moment. Life only exists right now. And this is the key principle that I've learned from two books that really changed my life and helped me transcend and ascend energetically. And that was The Power of Now and A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. Most people live in the past or in the future simultaneously and never in the moment that truly matters. The present moment matters because you can readjust and realign the direction of what it is and create a conceivable reality, which might I add, already exists. It is possible to get where you want to be and beyond who you think you are Thank you so much for joining me and hearing me out. I hope that it's changed your perspective on a numerous amount of things. And I hope to see you again soon.